Over the last couple of years, the concept of the flat earth has been a growing trend, and most of their arguments are hard to dispel. But are these theories actually right, and have we been lied to our entire lives? For any of you people who don't know what the flat earth theory is, it suggests that the earth is a flat disk, and not a spherical shape as we've been told. On the flat earth, there is no gravity, and the forces that keep us on earth is the acceleration of it at 9.8 meters per second squared. If there actually is a flat earth, then the sun would be much smaller. According to the Flat Earth Society, the Earth is roughly 700 miles above Earth's surface, and other stars are roughly 1,000 miles away. To put that in perspective, it is like driving from Phoenix, Arizona to Sacramento, California. You could hypothetically drive to the sun within 11 hours. Now that we know what the Flat Earth Theory is, let's see if it's actually real. For starters, lunar eclipses. They occur when the sun, earth, and moon are aligned, but sometimes the moon will pass through the earth's shadow and cast a direction onto the moon. For all of my life, I've still yet to see a flat shadow shape being cast into the moon. It's always spherical, and a sphere is the only thing that makes a perfect circle shadow regardless of rotation. To prove the earth's curvature, the Verrazzo Narrows Bridge connecting Staten Island and Brooklyn had to be designed around earth's curvature. Its two main towers, which are 1,300 meters apart and both at 90 degree angles, are 41 millimeters further apart at the top than the bottom. Furthermore, in the 3rd century BC, Eratosthenes put a pole in Alexandria and Cyanine to calculate the circumference of the earth, because he, he, he could see right where the poles were disappeared over the horizon. Also, if you ever try, are in an ocean, try to look for ships right at the horizon line. They disappear because of the Earth's curvature. Now, if you quickly climb to a t tall observation deck, you can see that same ship again because it's just as so you can see slightly over Earth's horizon. Lastly, the flat Earth also raises other questions like magnetic poles and how compasses work on this planet. How thick would the Earth be if, there, if it was flat? Would there be a core? And if not, how would geothermal energy work? So it is clearly obvious that even though some people say that there is a flat Earth, all scientific evidence points to there not being a flat Earth. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Please like and subscribe, and don't forget to smash that like button, share this video with your friends and family, and above all, I hope you enjoyed it. Lastly, we're going to have a few new updates coming out soon, uh, possibly a cool project on a fluidized bed that I'm working on, so similar to one that my Mark Rober video, if you guys don't follow him, definitely check out his channel, he has, makes a lot of cool stuff. So we'll see you in the next video, next month, and peace.